guys, it's Queen Beja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 18 of season 2 of Two of Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see how I'm gonna cry today. That's all. That's all the biggest thing I'm wondering every single time. How am I crying today? Or, no. The real question is, am I crying today? Because we got like two more weeks left with this show, which is still nuts to know that we only have two more weeks. Oh my god. March. Here comes March. No. God. You, you know, if you ever watch something that makes you traumatized for a moment, that was it! That last little bit last week, oh my god. I was just like, oh was not expecting that at all and then next thing you know march just comes in and she's like no don't kill fuji and i'm just like oh my god like finally but at the same time it was like where was you you were hiding i i mean because i get it because she she I, she probably wasn't ready to talk to fuji but still that's your baby kind of but we're gonna get it tonight kind of it's also weird to like to get a March focus episode because you know we have not seen this child in almost like a year I believe it's been, I think it's been about a year since the show was aired about a year or two and the last time we saw we saw her you know before she before Fuji took over her body and stuff she died and that hurt and I think seeing her now it, it is truly gonna hurt like really but it's just the same time it's like she's here and she's alive though but still like it's too much <laughs> I'm not ready You go get back up. You know, this is the one time I never really want a horse to hurt someone, but at the same time, it's not Kohaku's fart. It, part, <laughs> fault. It's more his arm, but still, it's still Kohaku. Well, I mean, yeah, you cutting your own arm off. Damn, like a damn little bug, nasty as f.
Ah, la fin, il me faut j'ai. To find my son. Chickens. Yeah, let's hope you don't bleed out and die because, you know, I actually like you and I don't need anything happening to you. But if something does, you know, I will cry for like a moment. Worse. But this is what happens. Because you overworked him. Oh, damn. Yeah, but the thing is, who knows how long Fuji is gonna be gone for? That's Miguel. Okay. He ain't coming. He ain't coming. Dead. 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 The heights when you're ghost.
He's not here anymore? Oh, Kohaku's not here. The fact that he is acknowledging it, that it is his fault, he's matured so much, like Jesus Christ. You would think, the old one, <laughs> our, our Prince Peach, he would have blamed that ish on somebody else. He's not in there. That Tonati's owl would have been the clue, but that just, you know, just really showed where March was. Hmm. So now what do you do? We just doomed. Well, yeah, Fuji is kind of dead. Tell him. What happened? Echo? Please, you want him back, don't you?
You're telling me everything you did in season one. I knew she got that. So one other time, you just want him to show up and just stay there. Where does he have a nose? I don't want to see this. She went upstairs. No, I'm That's great. Yeah, let's not show anybody. Oh.
so that's what that meant. With the with his orb is him. Oh, I'm bald. No! fact that they would use Puron. What the fuck? Okay. Why did one of the knockers have Fuji's face? What, what are we doing? We got two more episodes, guys. Two more episodes. Two more episodes. How are we ending this show? Because right now, I don't know how we're ending this in two weeks. How are we, like... Oh. Explain that ish to me. There is no way in the world that in two weeks we're going to have a good happy ending. That's a lie. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm a, I, I can't believe it until I see it. I, I can't even say anything or speak on something because we're too into the despair. Literally almost everyone in that city is dead. Everyone who's had a speaking role is now dead. We're, we're down by a half. We're in like the final quarter and we're almost done with the freaking game. The knockers are winning. What about me if it turned into Fuji's head? What the fuck? What, what the? What was this? What was that? Echo was ready to go. I didn't want her to go because she pressures baby girl and I don't want anything to happen to her. And, and then, okay, Bond making the noble sacrifice. I get that because that's the only way to wake Fuji up. Because he's he's an orb again. The fact that they're the the title card. I mean, it ain't even translating. What? <laughs> I, I'm flabbergasted right now. Okay. But that still does mean he will be able to bring everyone back. Bond 
Um, Masato, Kai, and of course the one I'm in love with. <laughs> um, but I would have expected him to immediately go back into, well, because he, all right, so he, he retained his original form because of course when Fuji was born, he was just born as a sphere. And then went from the sphere to the rock, to the rock, to the wolf, to the wolf, to the, to the boy and such. So I get that. And I thought we were going to instantly see him transform into the boy from episode one again, and then go on from there and stuff. But of course he can't, he doesn't, he, he still hears the memories of everything that he's had from everyone who he's met up until now. He just doesn't remember what they look like. So of course, since Bond is the first person who has killed himself or really sacrificed himself for Fuji to have a body, that's of course the first person he's going to see. He's not going to see the wolf or the rock or the nameless boy, March, Piranan, um, Gugu, um, the grandma whose name I don't remember, uh, Gugu's girlfriend, Tonati, and Tonati's friend, Tonati's owl, everyone who we've all met up until this point and such. I mean, still, even with the fact that March is over here, like, <laughs> doing what she's doing, and the fact that the knockers are also using um, Kiranan's body or the spirit of her body to just instantly kill people. Like, Sena, I did not think she was going to die. Like, one minute we, we was okay, and the next minute was like, nope, she, it's time for her to go. I'm like, damn, we... Y'all really just saying F these characters now. Like, Jesus, y'all give it ish. Like, damn. That's messed up. But yes, two weeks left with this show. And I, I don't know how to feel. I This is truly a moment. Excuse me. Where it is. It's really hard to just see how I feel right now in this moment. I feel very despair-like right now. And I don't like that feeling. But you know, hey. It's been like that since the first day when we started this damn show. Regardless, because you can't have anybody close because you already know they're all going to die. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction video towards episode 18 of season 2 of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 19. Bye, guys.